Jesus and Santa Claus because that ain't my religion. I be buying gifts for myself and other people, children. This Christmas. All right, Shalom. This is Brother Kai Ha here with GMS Charlotte. I want to start off by giving all honor, glory, and praises to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to my elders and my apostles at Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. And salutations to you, I came out there in the four corners, laboring in this truth and pushing with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. Yeah, man, that was a little quick, um, yeah, a little quick clip by Trinidad James. This guy Trinidad James came out with the song Black Santa about three days ago. And um, as you as you heard it, he said, um, I don't trust in Santa Claus because <laughs> that ain't my religion. Okay. So the truth is out there, man. All right. The spirit is out there. Even the simplest of the simplest niggas is waking up to the fact that this whole pagan holiday bullshit, that's not our customs, man. Those are the customs of the heathen. And people need to do research. If you don't know by now that these pagan customs, i.e. Uh, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, and Halloween, and so on and so forth, if you don't know by now that these ain't our customs and you a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American, man, the Lord is really not dealing with you. All right? These are not our customs. They come from the heathen. All right? The Hamites, the so-called Africans. All right, those uh, East Indians, the Elamites, and so on and so forth, man. Ceramuses, Nimrod. Okay, all of these, all of these so-called holidays are not our customs. They're the customs of the heathen. And Yahweh Shemasha specifically told us not to go into the customs of the heathen, man. All right, but you, you niggas out there, all right, you are so rebellious and hard-headed, and the Lord gonna see you for that. You passing your children through the fire, man. Like I said, the simplest of the simplest of these niggas know that these uh, holidays ain't our customs. I mean, he's still wicked for saying he celebrate Christmas for himself. You know, he, he confused him. I ain't going to say he, he know the truth and so on and so forth. But who knows, man? He might because, hey, the truth is out there. You know? Well, with that being said... Scripture I'm gonna start it off with is um Jeremiah chapter 10. I'm start at verse 1. It says, Hear ye the word which Yahabashim al Shah speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Yeah, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Listen up. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. It says, Learn not the way of the heathen. All right, don't take up their customs. Don't take up their philosophies. Don't take up their doctrines. Don't do what they do. Because as it says, I believe it's in the book of Deuteronomy, man. We are holy people unto Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. Are you Israelites? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And that word holy means separate. Okay, the Lord has chosen us for chosen us for Himself, not to be of the world. Okay, so it says, learn not the way of the heathen. Don't do what they do. Okay, and you got that saying in the world, monkey see, monkey do. And that's how you niggas is acting like monkeys and shit. Upholding the customs of the heathen. All right, the Lord gonna see you for that. It says, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Yeah, man. When you see uh, uh, shooting stars, when you see eclipses, solar and lunar. Okay, when you see those things coming to pass, man, don't, don't be dismayed at them. All right, because the heathens don't know what's going on. Okay, and the elect, the 144,000 and the one-third, that the elect know what's going on. All right, we know the Lord is coming back. The Lord is coming back to visit his people, to visit the whole entire world. All right, starting with his people, because judgment is going to begin at the house of Yahabashim Yahushua. Okay? It says, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Yeah, the heathen don't know that the Lord is coming back. All right, they don't understand the signs of heaven. Okay, the the signs of the times that we're living in. Verse three it says, "For the customs of the people are vain." Yes, yeah, vanity, man. It's nothingness. It ain't shit. 
For one cut of a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Yeah. It says for the customs of the people are vain, man. All right. Their customs are nothing. They chose gods for themselves. Their gods are no gods, as the scriptures say. All right. For one cut of a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Yeah. Don't that sound like a, 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 a so-called Christmas tree to you? You know, when you look at your old school movies and your uh, old school cartoons and, and so on and so forth, even now, man, they would cut down the trees, the little um, pine trees and put it in a house. Now they got inflatable trees and fake trees and so on and so forth. Okay. Verse four, they deck it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. That's I don't know about you, but that sounds just like a goddamn Christmas tree to me, man. Okay. Now, let me read that again. It says, learn not the way of the heathen. In verse 2, okay? Because this is what they're doing. Cutting down uh, uh, trees, setting up rocks and stones, you know? And so on and so forth and decorating it. Okay? That's some heathenistic shit. All right? Because those are their gods. And their gods are no gods. Are right, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you have a power. Okay? And he's the only power. All right, how about Shah said, I am and none else beside me. Okay? Verse 4, they deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and hammer and hammers that it move not. Okay? Setting up that Christmas tree. Those are the ways of the heathen. And who's who, who pushed that on our people? The so-called white man, the devil that the scriptures speak of, man, Esau, the Edomites, they pushed them heathenistic customs on our people. And some of our, the rest of our people willingly go into these heathenistic customs, man. Thinking it's cool. But again, yeah, how about Shemar Shah is going to see you niggas for that? All right. These gods are no gods, man. Let me get this in the letter of Jeremiah. I'm going to start at verse 49. It says, How then cannot men perceive that they be no gods, which can neither save themselves from war nor from plague? Yeah, man. Talking about the heathen nations. All right, their gods can't save them. All right, so to Ishmael, the so-called Arabs, Allah can't save them. Okay? That giant wall that they're worshiping can't save them. Same to them fucking gutter rats, them cars are over there. In, uh, uh, in the land of Israel now, man. Worshiping in the synagogue. Bowing down to walls and shit, man. Their gods can't save them from wars and from plagues and from any calamity that comes upon them. Okay, verse 50. For seeing they be but of wood and overlaid with silver and gold, they go down silver and gold again. All right, like putting diamonds on doo-doo. Okay, y'all just, these heathens, they just decorating um, earthly objects, man. It says, for seeing they be but of wood and overlaid with silver and gold, it shall be known hereafter that they are false. Yes, yeah, false, man. It's vain. You know, they're worshiping the stars in the, uh, the heavens. I mean, the stars in the, um, uh, in the planets and stuff, man. They're worshiping rocks and trees. They worship water. They worship the sun and the moon. All right. These heathens. Hey, they, they are vain, man. That's why they're heathens. That's why Yahabar Shem Rashad told us to stay away from them and not to learn their customs, man. Okay? Verse 51, it says, And it shall manifestly appear to all nations and kings that there are no gods, but the works of men's hands, and that there is no work of Yahweh in them. Okay? So these heathens is going to uh, shortly learn that there's no power in these fucking idols, and they've been believing in them for so long. Likewise, you Israelites. All right, because, again, you all out there worshiping the gods of the heathens, man, which are no gods. And you're going to see that they truly are no gods, man. Okay? It says, but the works of men's hands. Yeah, it was just created by the hands of man. It don't take much to make a, a tree sculpture or a little ice sculpture. Okay, 
or carve something out of stones. All right, it don't take much to do it. All right, anything could be a god to these heathens out here, man. And they'll worship it. They'll pray to it. They'll burn incense to it. Okay. And you, you niggas out there, y'all doing the same thing. It says, but the works of men's hands. And that there is no work of Yahweh in them. Yeah. Yahweh about Shem didn't bless these idols out here. Okay. Yahweh about Shem didn't bless uh, uh, the Christmas tree. <coughs> All right. The Lord is not dealing with Christmas. The Lord is not dealing with Halloween, Easter, Thanksgiving, and all of these other pagan ass holidays out here. Okay, we have our own holidays, man, which is holy days, our separate days, our right, days for the nation of Israel. We we have our days, man. Okay, just look them up. All right. Because what y'all celebrating these wicked ass holidays and so on and so forth, y'all ain't doing nothing but passing y'all children through the fire of Molech, man. All right. And there's the book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 21. Oh, Salakia. What's up? It says, And thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Molech, neither shalt thou profane the name of thy power. I am the Lord. Yeah, don't let your, your children and your children's children pass through the through the fire of Molech, man. Okay? Of Satan, of of uh of other gods, man. Alright, because all you're really doing, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all you're really doing is setting your children up to be destroyed, man. Alright. It says, Neither shalt thou profane the name of thy power. Yeah, man. Don't do nothing outside the temple of Yahabashimi Hawasha. All right, because profane means outside of the temple. All right, Christmas and all of these wicked ass holidays is outside of the temple. Okay? Don't do anything outside of the temple of Yahabashimi Hawasha. All right? That's why we have law, statutes, and commandments to follow. That's why we have our own holy days. All right? Because anything you do outside of Yahweh Hashem Hashem is profane. All right, it's wickedness. All right, it's sin. All right. But with that being said, I just want to do that quick little video. I didn't want to make it too long, man. I was just looking at that video, man. It just, you know, it made me laugh a, a laugh a little bit because, hey, man, again, even these 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 common everyday jakes is waking up to the fact that these customs aren't our customs. Okay. With that being said, call Allah Imla Yahabashim Asha, Inshallah Wong.